Hello, this is Hello Gabius and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification and like this video. In today's video, I am unboxing the latest season four Cosbox. And these boxes always come in great condition. Now here in El Paso, we've had a lot of bad weather recently. We've had a lot of like thunderstorms and this box arrived while we were having these, uh, the bad week for rain and thunderstorms. And so um, I was not surprised that the box came dirty. It didn't come bent, uh, but at least it didn't come wet because that's what I was expecting. And most of our mail during this time came to us pretty down. Damage. Now, before I open this latest Cosbox, I do want to say that we all got an email, whoever subscribes to Cosbox, that they have changed the name of Cosbox to All True. I'm not sure why. Uh, I'm assuming that they're just upgrading the company, perhaps adding just man management changes, perhaps. Not sure. Nevertheless, this season's Cosbox does say Cosbox. Uh, I am noticing here that on the actual name, it does say peel here so maybe that's where it's revealing the new name so let's see ta-da sure enough guys it does have the new name now all true so this is now uh, the name for the company and that is how then we'll be starting to get our boxes with the new name so pretty cool and i can't wait to open this box up so let's get started the box it does say all true um everything is the same it not, pretty much nothing has changed other than the name um what i hope is that they just don't take away those awesome postcards they always include in the boxes so let's see we've included a little booklet and it is introducing the new name all true new name new look And on the very second page, it says we are here for good. And it's just telling you again what's in the name, more about uh, the name change and so forth. So a little pamphlet on that. Now I do see what I really like to see, which is the postcards. Uh, all of these postcards are just absolutely beautiful. This one is in, has designs of like a fruit in baskets uh something that you can drink and then of course they are postcards and here instead of saying cause box it does say all true now it is going to take me a while to remove a uh, cause box from my vocabulary i'll probably continue to call it cause box it's going to take me a while to start calling it all true but i'm glad that they included the postcard and they also include a guide to summer. Explore the summer box, all true. And then let goodness be your guide. And then here, I'm assuming that they are, instead of that booklet that they used to include, if you remember from previous videos, they're just including this big old flyer on what you should be getting. So I don't like to look at this till I have opened everything in the box. And I like to compare to make sure that I did get everything that they stated I'm supposed to get. So I'll refer back to this later. So let's get started. And again, uh, before I review what I have, you do get to choose items from your all true box. Now, they do this about a month or two before you actually get your box. Honestly, I always forget what I choose. I know that I do click some of my preferences. I think you have the option to do like maybe three or four preferences. But by the time I get the box, I forget what I had chosen. So it's always a surprise to me. Okay. So uh, here it's a booklet. So it says all good things. Well, this is awesome. So this booklet, um, just like other booklets. So now I misunderstood. I thought they were just going to do away with maybe providing the booklet because they have this big old flyer you fold out. Uh, but obviously you don't. Uh, you still get the booklet, which is pretty awesome because 
They include a lot of stories. It's stories about the artisans and what they've made and perhaps what you get in the box, uh, recipes and other uh, very informative items in here. So, and these booklets are very good quality magazine-like booklets. So I really like these. So they have included the booklet again. So pretty cool. Woo, first item. So this is a brand with a hard OMG smooth leaving conditioner blend. This is six ounces. It's a pretty big bottle. I love that they have that extra seal on here. Mmm, it smells like coconut. It smells really good. Mm, so, uh, leave-in conditioner. Can't wait to try this. Ooh. Second item. Feels a little heavy. And it says Koala Tree Echo Minded Goods. This is a packable hammock. Oh yeah, I did. I picked a hammock. And you can see a picture here. Cool, guys. So this is a hammock. I'm not sure if I'm able to unwrap it completely. Um, okay, so these are the, I'm assuming the straps. And... It's obviously very light if it fits in this little tiny bag. Oh. So it's attached to the bag and the material looks like, I don't know if it can hold me. It looks like it's a material, like a rain jacket material, that kind of thin material. So this is, I'm assuming, where you hook it up to something. I do like the color. Ah, and then this is the other end. So you have one end, and then the other end, and then this is, I guess, to help you strap it to the pole or the tree or your the bumper of your truck or whatever. Um, but okay, cool, so we have a hammock. I can't wait to try this, actually. So we have a little box here and this is the Hanalei Hawaiian Lip Balm Trio SPF 15. It's vegan. Hmm, pretty cool. So they're just regular size lip balms. This one is unscented. Unscented and then we have a tropical citrus and then we do have an island mint scent. So these are the little palm trios. If you can see them. Ooh, I remember this one now. This is Small Hours on the Go Cutlery Set. It's pretty heavy. Ooh. Ta-da! Ooh, so then you get your cutlery in here. I was checking to see if it smells like metal. And it doesn't. Wow, so you get a spoon. And you get what looks like a spork. And then your knife. Stainless steel. How awesome is that? Cool. You can travel with this, you can take it to the office, you have your own little cutlery, very easy to clean, and you can pack it right up. Cool. So we have cutlery. Okay, so this is a surprise. I don't remember if I picked this or not. Um, this is a retinol uh, facial uh, serum. Um, and I am very, very curious about this one here but it does have a dropper application it's one fluid ounce and i'm just curious as to how potent it is because it does say retinol uh how much retinol it actually does have so just to open it ooh, it does have a big long dropper 
it doesn't really smell like anything and it's very light so it's almost like like for a hydrating mask as well it feels a little oily but like a dry oil it does spread a lot and I'm not sure if you can tell um, my hand does look very hydrating um, so I would say that a little bit goes a long way. So um, I'll be very interested to use this uh, at night, being that it's a retinol uh, serum, but a retinol serum, pretty cool. And then we have a an indigo round beach towel. Okay, cotton recycled polyester made in Turkey. Well, this is uh yeah it's terry cloth i was doubting a little bit if it was a true towel or not but it is you can see on this side it's very uh, terry cloth i love the color and the pattern on this um enchanted hue round beach cloth so it's just pretty much a big round uh towel So pretty cool. Uh, so this is a lot of stuff actually. I do have a lot of stuff for on the go if I'm going to be going on vacation uh, like or camping. I have my towel, I have my utensils, I have my hammock. Um, okay, so I unfolded this uh, flyer here, this brochure, and again, I want to compare and make sure that I got everything that I should have gotten. And like I had said that about a month or two before uh, you actually get the box, you get to choose some products. And um, I choose the products, but yet I forget what I have gotten. But here it tells you the choices that you had. So for example, on... For choice number one, you could have gotten like these nesting bowls, a cooler toad, or an oversized round towel. And I chose the towel as my choice number one. For choice number two, you could have gotten a set of four uh, wafer dish towels, a to-go bowl, a set of three packing cubes, or a packable hammock and I chose the hammock but let me just show you the pictures of these are the towels and then these are the to-go bowl and then the packing cubes and or the hammock here I chose the hammock for item number three, you could have gotten a solo stone bracelet or a small hours travel cutlery set. And I chose the cutlery set here. Then for product number five, I could have got a brace, a brightening face serum or an OMG leave-in conditioner. And of course, I chose the leave-in conditioner. So cool, uh, it does mention the Trio Lip Balms, it does mention the Retinol Cream, uh, Mattifying Moisturizer Cream. So yeah, I definitely got everything. I absolutely love this box. Um, these boxes are so packed with usable stuff and i really like it honestly better than the single swag box um i think that the all true box is definitely has more usable stuff and at least you can pick some of the items that you get in the all true box that um it is to your preference meaning that that is what you are for sure going to be using because you chose it yourself i really really like the all true box it's very big they always come in great condition I do love all of the information that they include in the boxes and the products themselves are such good quality. So 
I absolutely love the Summer for Ultra box this time. And if you also subscribe to Ultra, let me know what you think of the box and let me know what were your favorite items for this box. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.